All right, guys, uh, this video is for the community of people who use the uh, the Sealand vacuum flush toilet system. So not everyone's going to get a kick out of this, but I'll tell you, uh, I got a little trick in here that just saved the day for me, and I wanted to pass it along. Basically, when you're rebuilding one of these pumps, uh, which I have right here, um, I'll point out real quick, all this pump consists of is a little piston that moves up and down. Um, they call it a... A baffle or something like that? Like a bellows, yeah. The bellows moves up and down, and as it does so, um, there's valves on either side of it um, that allow water to only flow in one direction. And in the, the valves just look like uh, little one-way valves. They're called duckbill valves. They only let water flow one way, so there's two of these on each side. And then the piston just moves up and down, and that's all there is to it. So pretty simple. Anyway, when you rebuild it, you have to pull out the old bellows, which involves taking off this clamp and then just lifting up on this whole thing, and it'll pop out. And when it does, um, you'll, you'll discard the old parts, and you'll need to insert some new ones. And if you follow the instructions, uh, a couple things to note. Um, they're going to go down this list. They're going to tell you the first thing you're going to do, according to them, is um, put that little O-ring on the top of the bellows and then put it down inside of this casing. Now, I was talking to the guys over at uh, Seattle, sorry, it's a marine sanitation and supply over by fisheries. And because um, I couldn't get these things together for the life of me, the problem I was having was uh, these half clamps on either side of the bellows. The ones that came with my old pumps were smooth on the outside, just like in this picture. And when I bought replacements, they had little notches on the outside. And those notches are actually raised, uh, raised up a bit. So it makes the part a little bit wider than the original part. So when I had put my C-clamps on my bellows and I was trying to push it down into the casing, I could only get it like halfway in. It wouldn't go all the way in because those little, the little nubs on, this, on the half clamps were preventing it from going all the way into the casing. So here's the trick. Here's what the geniuses over there figured out. They just discarded the instructions apparently and they came up with their own method. The best and easiest way to do this is as follows. Uh, you take your bellows and you... I'll keep my finger down here. You take your bellows, and you add this little O-ring to the top of it, um, and then you jam it up into the lid. And this, again, is not something prescribed in the directions. This is their own technique. So again, uh, you insert this into the lid, and it'll snap together. And when it does, you'll then be able to inspect it and make sure that that O-ring is seated properly. And the guys point out, if you wait till the last, or till further down the list of steps, till the bellows is in the casing, to put this o-ring on you won't be able to see it after you've clipped the lid on so you'll have no way of knowing whether it was seated correctly so the best technique again you take the lid uh, and the be and the bellows and you put that gasket on there and clip it together and then here's the part that really saved the day for me once you have those three pieces together you then add your half clamps and as i mentioned earlier um, i was having trouble getting that little assembly with the half clamps on the bellows into the casing because it was getting stuck by those little nubs well, here's what you do. Once this thing's assembled, uh, these parts together and the half clamps on there, you set it in the casing, and then you set the casing on the floor, and then you stand on it. <laughs> and you'll it, the way it will come together is um, the bellows will be kind of like halfway in, like you'll be able to work half of it down, and you won't be able to get the other part down. You simply set on the ground, you stand on the low side, and then with your other foot, you hop up onto the top side, and it'll snap it all the way down into the casing. So I would have never thought of that in a million years. Like, personally, I was trying to pound it in with a mallet, which is what the directions suggest, which is kind of scary, because, as you guys know, these pumps are like a thousand bucks, and they're plastic, and, uh, you know, how hard do you want to pound on a, on the casing of some pump that's that expensive? Uh, but anyway, that's all there is to it. You just clip those pieces together, and then you just stand on it, and it'll clip right down into the casing. And uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, have fun.